I'm, I'm Dave Wilbur from USF, and I'm going to tell you, show you some App Inventor for Android, and I'm going to show you kind of how to calculate the distance, given you've got two points, uh, two GPS coordinate points, um, and I want to know how far the, uh, you know, in miles, the two points are from each other. So, you know, what I went, uh, you know, I went to Google and searched, um, and found uh, this this page, and you can see the formula here. You know, given um, two lat you know, a latitude longitude and a second latitude longitude, I can kind of have this formula. So I'm going to show you how to put this formula into App Inventor. And, and of course, what you might use it for is, you know, some app where, you know, you're taking, you know, the phone's got its location sensor, so you might use it to, um, you know, coordinate, you know, find out how far that place is from some fixed places like a bar or a restaurant or someplace you want to go. So anyway, I've set up four text boxes here. So, so the app I'm going to build is just for testing. And you can put in four coordinates. And then you can click on Compute, and it will tell you the distance in miles. And what I'm going to try to do is put this formula into App Inventor blocks uh, to give you an idea how that works. Um, so first thing is, I'm going to define a couple variables. And variables are, are not components, but they're kind of hidden hidden properties. So we're going to need something called distance. And I'm going to choose that it's a number. And I don't really care what's in here. We're going to change it later. And I'll then define a couple more. We're going to use a couple variables for kind of temporary um, values. So I'm going to have one for x and one for y. Those were the, whoops, those were the, the um, two kind of temp variables that are used in the, in the formula. So I'll get one more for y. And uh, I'll just initialize these guys to zero. I'll copy that guy, paste it, and now I've got three variables set up, and this, these are going to help me in my in my formula. And what I had was I had a button, um, I had a button called um, compute button. So I'll take the compute button dot click, and this is where we're going to we're, we're going to actually do our formula and. Uh, the first thing I'll do is 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 kind of figure out the x and you know the formula is 69.1 times the difference between the latitudes uh, for x. So um, I'm going to need a math multiply, and I think the number was 69.1. So I'll grab a number and type in 69.1, and then I want to multiply that I think by the difference between the, the latitude. So I'll now grab a minus and what I'm going to want to do is take um, some latitude minus some longitude. Now my latitude one is whatever the user types in that text box. So they can enter any latitude they want. Actually I'll put that in the second side. And then in latitude two is the other one they've typed in. So I've got two text boxes. So if I take the difference of those and multiply it times 69.1, I think I'm getting my x value here. Um, let me plop that into uh, what I want to do is set x. So I'll set x um, when that button is clicked to, to that value. Okay, now I'm going to do kind of the same thing for y. So I'm going to copy this whole thing because y is going to be similar. And let's make, make some room for it. Um, I don't want x, I want to set y. And so I'll grab my set y definition. And now y is set to that. Now y is a little bit different. Um, he uses the longitude, so I'm not going to use the latitude text boxes. And instead I'll use the longitude. So I'm going to go over and grab longitude text to dot text box minus longitude one dot text box and, or sorry dot text and so now I've got my first two temporary values um, and the next part of this uh, tutorial I'll show you how to, to, to finish these these formulas uh, thanks a lot